Yeah, the Minister, you're very, very welcome in this afternoon. I, I was trying to get excited about coming here this afternoon, but I, there was nothing really exciting in this budget. Uh, I, th I, I think you fell short in a lot of areas this year. Um, the expenditure reports this, uh, for two 2024 expenditures is £96.6 .6 billion. The Government will, in 2024, gift £6 billion to taxpayers' money to the NGO sector so that activists can use that money to ask the Government to pass laws that they like. This figure increases year on year. Earlier this year, £5.5 billion was set aside for spending on Ukraine. Ukrainians here. The budget signs away £225 million a year of taxpayers' money to be spent overseas to help third world countries fight climate change on foot of a promise made to Europe to do so for four years minimum. So just shy of £1 billion is going uh, to uh, third world countries. So already we have roughly 11% of the pot that won't be seen by the ordinary working Irish people uh, of whom over 700,000 people are suffering in poverty. I couldn't believe how often I, I read the phrase from September 2024 or by the end of the year. A ridiculous amount of the provisions announced today will not be seen for months and months, some not even within a year perhaps. The big headline uh, act of the 25% reduction uh, in childcare costs isn't coming for another 11 months. Parents and families need support today. They don't want to wait 11 months for this. This might be Budget 2024, but huge parts of it really do feel like Budget 2025, a budget of kicking the can down the road. The, the hospitality VAT reduction rate for the hospitality industry was the one thing keeping so many small businesses uh, afloat after COVID. It ended six weeks ago, and a lot of those businesses were hoping that that, redu uh, that reduction would uh, remain. There was no mention of ener ener energy supports for, for the hospitality sector, further tax pr uh, protections funding these businesses impacted by the war. We'll see the devil in the detail of the grants for reducing commercial rates. 2024 will, will be, I'm, I'm afraid, a year of further closures and restaurants and hospitality businesses await us. And that's what I'm afraid of. Uh, disabilities, in order to match inflation's core uh, welfare rates for those with disabilities should uh, have risen to 27.27 euro uh, 50. The 12 percent hike, 12 euro hike, will leave uh, people uh, unable to keep up with their re re relentless cost uh, of, of, of living. The NTO today are very, uh, the INTO are very uh, disturbed by the, the, the announcements today. Many of the, the primary classes are overcrowded. The schools are underfunded, and the school leaders are under support and mental health uh, services for uh, pupils are under-resourced. Now, this is coming from their report today on, 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 the, on the budget. So, the loss, they basically, it resulted in the loss of approximately 250 mainstream teaching posts in primary school next September. Minister Foley has reneged on the promise under last Easter, meaning that uh, 2,400 2, positions of assistant principals, which have been vacant for 15 months, will not now be filled in this government's lifetime. Now, that's disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. And also, the €12 Euro to carers' allowance. Are you not ashamed of that? €12. Euros. That's an absolutely disgusting payment to give the carers uh, in this country. And I'm very disappointed today that they didn't, they didn't go a lot further with that. Thank Peter you. Wilkes. Thank you.